Hello again, hello again, my fine feathered friends. Um, yeah, so apparently YouTube didn't quite like me doing a reaction stream, even though I was doing my best to add value and pause it frequently and do all the things that reaction channels do to make it so that they can make reaction content. But maybe it's because I'm a small creator. Maybe they're just hypersensitive about this particular content at this particular minute who knows but regardless here we are thankfully i had a plan b in stock um waiting in the wings we've got another mod testing stream here i've got some cool ones i was wanting to check out some i've already popped out some pieces some i was waiting to pop them out with y'all so glad you're here hey there Nanashi, aka gextrix welcome welcome I hope the other few people who found my other stream are able to find their way over here. Um, you know what? Actually, uh, Gex, would you mind copying the link to this stream and like commenting it on the other stream or something to maybe make it easier for people to find their way here? Uh, I would do it myself, but I am down to just two screens and my other screen over here is extremely cluttered and it's very difficult to open another browser window and do stuff. Hey, Mikey. Hello, hello. Hey, Zant. Yeah, I know. And I was doing more than the pirate sites do. I was at least, you know, making content out of it. I wasn't just sharing it as is. But oh, well. Okay, just a second here. Get into GCM. There we go. Whew. So I've been checking out a few more streams here in my testing world. And I'm excited to show y'all what we got going over here. Don't go too fast. Don't crash now. Just go slow, slow and steady. Last time I was doing a mod testing stream, uh, it ended up crashing in the middle of testing out Circus Fantasy Decor. Just a second, that music is sounding a little loud to me. Uh, let me figure out how to turn it down just a bit. There we go. I want to turn it down for me without making it too quiet for y'all. Which is a little tricky to do, but is possible. There we go. I think we got it. Woo! Sorry. Still smacking my mic. I need to get like a headset mic or something. My mic is like right in front of me here and I keep smacking it by accident. Okay. Well, the, the stream went on for like 20 minutes, but more or less immediately. Um, I don't think they can find me. I don't think so. I think at most they would just m m prevent me from being able to upload it. I hope I don't get a copyright strike because those are kind of scary. Um, let me see if I can find this window over here. So far, it it didn't look like they were, but it's it's really hard to tell. Um, there we go. Can I open this, please? Oh, let's close that. I don't need that open. Too many things. Okay, is that way too many programs going on here. I really need my third monitor back. I bought one, but it wasn't working properly. I think there was something with the power cord, like it just was not getting enough power. But yeah, so that's the thing. So I'm going to take, just in case, just to be safe, I'm going to take that stream and I'm going to make it private. Oh, yep. Nope. It says it has been blocked. So I didn't even get a chance to do that. They just blocked it. Okay. Well, guess we'll see. Okay, well, so much for that idea. Alrighty. So, I did get on here and pop out the rest of the deco pieces in Circa's Fantasy Decor. 
Let me show you around everything we got here. This here, this whole thing with the, the flowers and the bees and the hive and the tree, all of that, all of that is one item. That is the Circa's RP Queen Beehive. Light fire. What? Oh, you can, the bees can make a buzzing noise if you turn it on. If you want them to make a buzzing noise, I suppose. Hmm. Not really a fan there. All right, but yeah, you put rare flowers in it and it's supposed to work like a regular hive. Let me see. Oh, I bet you have to have it actually on. Yeah, you have to light the fire to get it going. That's kind of funny. Tells you how long your flowers are going to last at least. All right. And then this here. Look at this. We have a massive glowy tree here. This is, which you can apparently pin code. It's just called Magical Tree, but it looks really cool and it glows. We have a garden bench, the outdoor bench. And look at this massive thing here. Uh, it's a little hard to make out. I, in fact, let me see if I can turn down the gamma a little. It always seems a little too bright on this map here. Uh, gamma one point four maybe that's a little better i think there we go <laughs> i wasn't talking about you this time da uh, mimic why were your ears burning no i was talking about dang paramount I or youtube <sighs> shutting down my reaction stream thank you thank you to whoever just subscribed there uh it's not showing me the name just yet it'll update thank you anyway uh you know this the lighting is a little odd i've noticed with the lumen lighting gamma doesn't work quite the same as it used to in asc like it looks kind of washed out here but in some places it'll look a little too dark and now i've got light flickering is that from this tree is causing that that is going to drive me bonkers let me try okay i think that was just the tree doing it all right anyway look at this it's a hobbit hole this whole thing is a prefab and it goes it has the actual ground underneath so you can build in here if you want to but yeah isn't that crazy that's in circa's fantasy decor and it is just gorgeous. I love the, I love the fact that it's all even landscaped and everything. Uh, I was curious how it would do with uneven terrains, so I popped one out over here as well. And yeah, it does clip into uneven terrain really well. Got steps here. Oops, come on. I can get up there. There we go. But then on the inside, yeah, you've got the angle of the slope. Okay. Anyway, that's pretty cool. I really like the Hobbit hole. Obviously, Circa was having a lot of fun with this mod, putting in all kinds of beautiful things, including these massive bookcases, all of which have, was it 150 slots? Uh, they did, but now they only have 10 slots. Okay, I don't know what's up with that. Somebody might have updated something. I don't think it was Circa because he took a break. Okay, this has 150 slots. I think it must have been a book I was looking at. Maybe the books have 10 slots. Yeah, it's the books themselves that have 10 slots. The bookcases, oh, you can actually rename them. And they have, yes, 150 slots. All of them do. And there's these magical lighty light things and there's candles included in here. And there are literally 57 different variants of books. Uh, all kinds of different stacks of books, stacks of books on their side. This whole big pile here, this is one item. So that definitely saves a lot of time. So yeah. <sighs> Yeah, I think um, I've been talking some with the modder who created this map and had an idea for him also that 
I mean, this map is purposely set up for testing things for content creators, for modders, for, you know, people who plan events in ARC, whatever. That's, that's why it's big and flat and it has no day-night cycle. It's got this chunk of water in the middle here to test water-related things. I think it's kind of hysterical though, because look at this. I can swim in here and then I can swim out the side. <laughs> it's going to fall down. <laughs> it just kind of uh, makes me giggle a bit. But yeah, I, I think he needs to do some kind of a block kind of like this, maybe bigger, but have one section of the map where it's dark. Just le just all the time, because it is nice that the lighting is consistent. Um, you can't change the time of day on here. It's just not a thing you can do. It is always 12 noon on this map, which is nice that you don't have to keep adjusting it because it keeps getting too dark or whatever. But sometimes you want to test out things in the dark. Sometimes you want to see how much the candles glow or things like that. So anyway, more of the fun little things from this mod. There are magical writing quills that write by themselves and a cool wizard hat that is placeable. I don't think there's one you can wear, but the placeable one's pretty cool. Brooms. All kinds of little apothecary jars and potion bottles. This whole thing here, this is one item. Table, t things on the table, and the stool is one item, and it's a mortar and pestle. Called the Imaginar Mixer. So that's pretty cool. Always kind of fun when a modder creatively reskins uh, base game items. There's a bunch of different variants of tables as well like this desk is amazing it's got a it came with the candle the automatic quill the little frog sitting there it's awesome so anybody doing a fantasy rp type server may enjoy this now okay i'm gonna have to gamma differently again here let me try 1.6 slightly lighter without being blinding hopefully it's this cool blackboard, which also does have an inventory. You can store things in it. And a podium. Very fancy, carved looking podium. And this thing over here, if you if you get this mod, by the way, I've had I have had people ask like how to actually craft the things from this mod because they checked their engrams list and they couldn't find them. This is the only item that you unlock as an engram. It is called the Maginar table. Yes, and it unlocks at level one. This is the crafting table for the mod. And then all the other engrams for everything else lives in the crafting table, which is really nice because it saves you from having to unlock everything. And then also when server transfers open up, having too much data, too many engrams unlocked on your character can cause crashes when you're transferring between maps because the game has to transfer all that data with you. And so especially for mods that have a lot of different pieces, it saves on data for, for your character not to have to carry around all of those engrams essentially. But yeah, you just open this up and he doesn't have um, he doesn't have pictures of most of them. He's used base game items. So obviously this is not what these things actually look at look like. You have to read. Oh, wait, I didn't make this one yet. Water imagine our fish tank. Ooh, we're going to have to make that. Um, anyway, yeah, you have to craft them in here. And then just pop them out and see what they look like. Uh, it's not ideal, but basically decide if you want the mod or not based on how it is now. Because uh, Circa has stepped away from modding and has said he's he's really frustrated with wildcard breaking everything constantly. Very understandable. And so he stepped away from modding. He doesn't know if he's going to come back or not. So the mods, uh, his mods won't be receiving any updates. So whether they continue to work or not depends on if Wildcard breaks them or not. You know, it's not really his fault or anything he can prevent. But let's hope that Wildcard doesn't break them. Usually, even if Wildcard does break something, usually it doesn't break everything in the mod at the same time. So it may just be that certain items 
stop working and other items still work over time. That's what I found testing out really old mods in Ark Survival Evolved. I used mods that were as old that were as old as from 2015 and had not been updated since 2015. And some of them actually still worked. Some of them didn't. Some of them had items that if you popped out that item, it would crash the game to desktop immediately. Um, so yeah, I definitely, that's why I started using a testing map to test out mods to, b before adding them to my servers or my own uh, single player save games. It's, you know, it's a, it's a good idea to check out what exactly the mod is, what it has, what it does before you add it to your mix on your server, essentially. Yeah. Hey, Jack Frost! Hello, hello! Welcome, welcome! But yeah, the lighting looks a little odd in some places. I don't know if it's my graphic settings or what it is. It's just, it's really bright, but then the shadows are really dark. I think it may be also because I don't think they're... At, these aren't actually volumetric clouds, are they? Because this, this map was designed to be really light and easy to run. It's, um, if regular maps are too laggy for you, this map is, this map light, loads up lightning fast because there's so little that it has to load. There's no creature spawns, there's no resource spawns, there's no trees and plants and clutter. There's not even a day-night cycle, so it loads up super fast. But I think the lack of the volumetric clouds with the lumen lighting is just making making the lighting and shadows look a little harsh. So I'm not entirely sure how one would go about fixing that. But um, but yeah, anyway, beautiful beautiful mod. It is too bad about Circa stepping away, but of course, completely understandable. And honestly, the way I see mods is, it's like somebody shared a beautiful piece of art with you. You know, if somebody shared a beautiful craft project that they made and they let you use it, if, if it eventually broke or something, would you be mad at them for it? That doesn't make any sense. Like, no, you'd be grateful that you got to use the item for as long as you did. You know, if, if my if my sister crafted me a lamp and I put it up in my corner, I would enjoy it for as long as I had it. And then if one day it, one day it quit working or it broke, that's sad. I'd be sad about it, but I wouldn't be mad at anybody because that's just life, you know, you, nothing lasts forever. <laughs> Mimic blames Zanzibar. Well, you know, it usually is his fault. So, you know, probably is his fault. He was talking about, you know, maybe someday downloading the dev kit and trying it out. So who knows? <laughs> I checked this out a little bit towards the end of last stream. I just thought I would give you all a little bit of a peek at this as well, because I use these signs to label uh, the little spots where I was testing other mods. This is Scribbles Better Signs. Highly, highly recommend this mod. Amazing mod. I loved it in ASE and I was so excited to see that it had been added to Ark Survival Ascended. But yeah, super lightweight mod, two megabytes, teensy. Uh, and the way it works in ASA is that it actually, here, let me pick this one up. It actually gives, it's just a variant of the of the base game sign. So you, you, you have no engrams to unlock that specifically say scribbles on them. You just unlock the regular wood signposts and then you can cycle through them to all the different scribbles variants. There's the wall signs, different sizes. There's the billboards. And of course there's metal versions of everything too. There's an admin bill billboard now that's pretty cool that people who don't have admin privileges cannot mess with it. So if an admin needs to leave up an important message or something, you can do that. And you, there's a lot of different um, fonts you can use. You can toggle the sign itself to being visible or invisible here. So yeah, <laughs> there is a sign in there. And the sign has collision, but then if I make the sign invisible, 
then it no longer has collision. You can walk through it, which is a lot of fun for various different event applications and different things. So uh, we use them a lot in the architects in the seasons I was there for 2023, uh, 2022 and about half of 2023. But, they, but yeah, look how crazy huge they can get in ASA. This is the billboard at the max size it can get. And then an, the font is the biggest it can get. It's ridiculously huge. And if you want to write a lot instead of just making it large, the character limit for these signs is 2000 characters. Uh, when I was testing them out bef um, back in ASE days, I actually copy pasted the first chapter of The Hobbit onto one of the Scribbles billboards. <laughs> yeah, it's insane how much you can fit on there. So if you need to fit a very long rant at somebody or if an admin has a full on message they want to leave, these are awesome for that. Or if you want to leave, you know, a passive aggressive note to the tribe mate who keeps using up all the metal and not replacing it, you know, well, there you go. <laughs> oh yeah yeah so uh, gextrix saying for the admin sign we have one up that reads do not let gextrix nor songbird near explosives now you've been uh, you've been messing with explosives have you now who have you blown up recently gex oh scorched is set for the 31st is that what it says in the crunch do they actually give a date like an actual specific date I guess we'll see. Maybe they thought better of the idea of releasing it on April Fool's Day. You know, that was just kind of asking for trouble, if you ask me. Yeah. <laughs> First thing you did was a metal run. Yeah, well, I'm probably the tribe mate who mostly uses up the metal and forgets to replace it. So speaking to myself, this is another deco mod that I was trying out. Really impressed with it. I've been checking out some foreign language mods recently. So this one is in Spanish for the most part, and it is called Gremio Land Decor. And my understanding is that it was created. It's a custom mod that was created for a specific server community. And that's why there's not a lot of information about it on the mod page. But I've been intrigued and curious to try it out for a while, finally got a chance to. And it actually has a lot of really cool things in here. There's only a few items that you actually craft. Let me see, I think I put the items in here. Yeah, so it only has a few items that you can actually craft. They all have this green glow around the engram. But then each one of these, or most of these, has a bunch of different variations that you can toggle through with R. So uh, the torches are incredibly loud. So let me just show you the torches and then turn them off because they sound like a massive bonfire. But yeah, all of these different wall torches that are just absolutely beautiful. Absolutely love these. And this spot is actually pretty small too i'm gonna have to look it up on curse forge to see what the actual size of it was but that was one of the reasons i wanted to check it out is because i like to look for deco mods that are not gigantically enormously huge you know ones that won't cause a lot of lag for people uh let me look that up really quick here There it is. Come on now. Okay. Yeah, I, it, according to this, I believe it's like a little over 200 megabytes. Double check this here. Gremio Land Deco. That can't be right. This says it's 4.84 megabytes. That that can't be right because there's a lot of custom models in here. I sometimes I wonder about the Curse Forge listing there. <sighs> Honestly, I <laughs> zant about people being upset about aberration being October, November, or December. It's like you know what. 
I just look at what it is now, interact with it as it is now, and if they come out with more content, awesome. If I run out of things to do, I'll go play a different game. I just don't have the energy to be upset with a game company that has already proven how poor they are at communication and me railing at that. I just don't have the energy to scream into the void about things that I can't do anything about, you know? There's, life's too short for that. So anyway, these are the beds that come with this mod. Aren't they gorgeous? There is this carved wood bed here. There's a smaller bed with a shiny red blanket. And then, yeah, there's two different coffin bed variants. So that's kind of fun. There's even a glass topped coffin if you want to um, pretend to be Sleeping Beauty or something. <laughs> yeah. And there's a more modern looking one too. It's kind of a nice variety in here. And then we got a bunch of different benches, like so many different benches. Even a, uh, even one here that looks like it's made out of moss or something. Not entirely sure what that's about. And a leather sofa. And there's even a log that you can sit on. So everything from a fancy leather sofa or carved wood bench to yeah a log and a bunch of tables this one even comes with the cute little centerpiece the little hippos i think oh, that was cute and we got everything from hyper modern here to like old school looks like something that would belong in a wizard tower oh it's called mesa ritual and there's also a bunch of different fountains and these are as best i can tell reskins of the water reservoir so they all actually work as water reservoirs let me show you here see it if you look around you've got the blue bubble as if it was a water reservoir let me find that again Just this one Yeah, and it's got this, it's got the four slots. You can fill canteens in it. I did test that out earlier. So that's fun. You got a fancy little fountain, some various wall fountains, an old west looking water tower. I like a mod that can be used for different themes, you know, different aesthetics. There's also this table over here, a fancier wizard table, a, an old fashioned desk. These are all the chair versions. So many different ones from hyper modern to something that looks like it belongs in a dungeon. Stools. And there's cages too. Whether they're for dinos or for recalcitrant tribe mates, uh, depends on what you want to do with them, I guess. This one has a hook in it. That's a little scary. And this here, I can't quite tell what it's supposed to be. It's got like skulls on it and it looks like some kind of a tank. But yeah, it's 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 like a big metal container. Kind of different. And of course, you know, I haven't addressed the uh, elephant or uh, Bronto in the room. Yeah, look at the Bronto and Rex skeletons that are like full size. Those are awesome too. And this thing here, this is the crafting station for the mod. And not only is it the crafting state, um, the crafting table for the mod, yeah, and you can see this is all in Spanish. I actually pulled out Google Translate to figure out what some of these descriptions were saying. This is a combination of crafting table for the mod, and it is also a mortar and pestle, a forge, a uh, smithy, and a fabricator, all in one. You can see the recipes for all of those things in here. It does need to be powered, like with fuel. You have to put wood or something in it to be able to craft anything in here. And then also, of course, it will smelt your stuff for you. But, which, yeah, I left some metal in here and it smelted it all up for me. So that's very, very cool. And this, I was looking at it last time. I believe it unlocks at like level 30 or 
40 or something. I think what I finally found to search for was, yeah, Gremio. You can unlock some of the furniture pieces earlier. But Gremio, if you just search for that, you'll get the crafting table and also a few of the other pieces. The rest, you may have to just browse through your engrams in order to find them. Um, but having the crafting table out, this thing is just amazing. I love, I love this thing. I wish it would show you the un unlearned engrams though too, because that would help with being able to look up the different pieces if you don't know the name for it in Spanish. The fact that it's all in Spanish definitely makes it a little more tricky for those of us who are sadly uneducated and are monolingual <laughs> and can't read Spanish. So. <laughs> yeah, I know that that's your other account also, uh, Mimic. So I appreciate the extra engagement, the conversation you're having with yourself there in the comments. It's Appreciate that. <laughs> and, okay, this is another thing that I was so excited about when I discovered this. So these are all different skins, different versions of the generator that comes with this mod. And this generator, including the one that looks like a tech generator, they're wood powered. They are wood powered generators that are wireless and Look how cool this one looks. I mean, so many different looks to these things. You can have all kinds of fun equipment up at your base. This one looks like it should be a hatchery or something, but I think that's just the model that they used because I don't think it actually has anything to do with eggs because the range is just like normal generator range, which yeah, that's a very big range. I tried putting down eggs and stuff and it didn't pick them up or anything, so. Um, so yeah, I think it's just decorative. And then this one here looks kind of, I don't know if it's scientific looking or magical looking or both, but it's pretty cool anyway. And then the tech trough and also a more primitive looking like reskin of a tech trough. Very, very nice. And then we've got all these different storage chests. I thought this one was kind of cool. It looks like... Looks like you're breaking into a treasure chest with an axe. And all of the, oh, this one's pretty cool too. All of these have the same number of slots. They all have 500 slots. So that's more than a base game vault has. And of course, for those pe people who like to be creepy, you can sleep in a coffin, you can store your crap in a coffin, you can have you know, you can basically live in a crypt. You can live out your vampire dreams. And I like I like all the different tables, though. There's so many cool ones. There's even a roulette table. It's just decorative, though. Yeah, you can't actually do anything with it. But yeah, for a very small, compact little deco mod, very well worth well worth this space. And then let me show you over here. To where I was trying out, I decided to try to group the more modern looking building mods together. So I looked at this the last couple streams. This is Shoko's decor, highly recommend. And this, this here is Plaster Structure Set by Sandy, who is a, an admin for Aaron Longstaff. So he designed it with uh, their building community in mind and made it available to all of the ARC community. He is adding to, or they are adding to it as time goes on, adding more pieces, more different textures. And this one also has kind of a variety of different things because there's some pieces here that definitely look like they would look, they would be at home in a castle. And then there's also pieces that look like they would be more at home in a more modern looking build. I really like the stucco plaster looking bits. Oh, this is a quarter wall there. I was testing out the, taking a look at the quarter walls. There's glass walls that are well nigh invisible. We got lots of brick as well. 
all kinds of different interesting textures and colors. I like these, I like the flooring, these plaster floors. And this one is called dark plaster, but it looks like a really dark brick. And then this one is dark plaster foundation two. Not sure I'm a big fan of the frames on it, just because I'm a klutz. And if I had frames like that on my floors, I would stub my toes on them every single day, every single day. I would, I would have bruised toes. I would have to wear special shoes and then I would still trip and go flying. So I need my floors to be flat <laughs> and I get, it looks cool, but yeah, I don't think it's very practical, sadly, at least not if you're a klutz like me. And there's different door types. I like this modern glass door. This one's cool. And there's a short version of like a metal door as well. So lots of fun stuff in there. Nothing wrong at all with sleeping in a crypt, Gex. That's why I was pointing out all that stuff. You know, that's make your crypt sleeping dreams come true. I'm sure Zanzibar would love all that stuff. He, he likes the macabre, um, morbid type of decor a lot. Let's go into slow fly. There we go. And then this here, this is from Klinger Additional Reinforced Concrete Building. And this one is a lot of fun too. All the pieces really coordinate well and have this modern industrial kind of aesthetic to them. So, uh, and, and there's actually skylight pieces on the sloped on some of the sloped roofs. I think that's an awesome idea. So there's the concrete pieces and there are also some metal bar pieces that according to the mod page from what I was reading, you can actually shoot through these. You can stand behind it and shoot between the gaps. They are, I believe, a little bit weaker than a regular metal wall and also a little cheaper to make though. So it seems like Klinger was trying to make them pretty balanced for survival playthroughs. And I thought this was kind of interesting. You can see that the, the concrete kind of has a little bit of a wet appearance to it. It, it actually has an option in here to switch to clean and dry foundation. It is such a very slight change that I'm not sure y'all can even see it. It just gets rid of the shininess and makes the darker area at the edges ever so slightly lighter. But, you know, kudos for that much attention to detail. And, oh, switch to default. So that's the default. That's the clean and dry. Tis what it is. Very cool. And this is the crafting table for it. Got this whole area here with concrete forms with rebar and everything. Very, a, a lot of detail. I really, really dig that. So yeah, that is a Klinger additional concrete building. And there's also information on the CurseForge page about the, uh, how strong the structures are, how they measure up to regular structures. Cause I believe that Klinger even tried to balance this for PVP servers and not make it like super OP. So these concrete pieces are 10,000 health, it looks like. But I believe he did say, 7,500 for this one. He did say that they take damage from certain types of things a little bit easier than metal. And also they are a little expensive to make, but that's by design apparently because of how strong they are. So yeah, so that's a thing. And then I started popping out stuff from this mod and then decided to wait and pop out the rest with y'all. So this is one I've been wanting to check out for so long. I know the modder is still working on it rather intensively. I've seen a lot of updates on their discord. This is wall and floor decor, which is a really well balanced deco mod in that it is small doesn't add a lot to lag, but has a lot of stuff in it. And this, this is just scra scratching the surface. I've like barely started. Uh, this is the admin box that comes with the mod. 
So if you have admin mode and can spawn things in, then you can get this. Can I open this, please? The mod has had an update since I for put all this stuff um, in here. So I think, I think he might, I think they might have broken the admin box. Or maybe it's just it's not supposed to be able to be picked up. I do not know. Well, let's use this as a chance then to check out Nucleus, which has also been having a lot of updates lately. I highly recommend if you like mods the way I do, if you enjoy mods, go to the full CurseForge page for the mod that you like. Like, don't, not just the in-game version. Click on the comments thing there, which actually pops out the CurseForge page, or just go to CurseForge in a browser and search for the mods. There's usually more information on there, and a lot of times there will be a link to a Discord. A lot of modders have their own Discord, and they are usually really excited to hear from people who enjoy their mods. They love it if you can share pictures because that's why they do this as a hobby. That's why they share they share these things with the community is because, you know, they have fun with it. They enjoy it, but they they like to share it with people. And then but then a lot of times they don't get to know what people are actually doing with it. So, you know, if you built something cool and included somebody's building mod or deco mod, you can post pictures on their Discord and make their day. It is awesome. And also, if there's a bug, often they really, really do appreciate you letting them know, especially if you can give detailed feedback about what exactly it was that seemed to be causing the mod. They really do appreciate that because, of course, each modder is just one person who has just one computer to test it on. They can't find every bug that there is on their own. I mean, heck, with a full team, Wildcard can't even find all the bugs before they publish things. So, yeah. <laughs> so, yes, modders appreciate that help. So, anyway, this is Nucleus. And Nucleus, this is an, a mod that is super helpful for admins. I absolutely loved it in Ark Survival Evolved. It became one of my must-haves in, in any server where I was building in creative mode or had um, admin privileges. It's very, very useful. So it has a list. There's an encyclopedia here that in all, it includes all of the items and dinos in the entire game. And it, it shows you what the code is, the blue, the name of the items. So if you're wanting to uh, to use that in in the console or whatever to spawn things in, or you can actually spawn things in directly in the mod, which reminds me, wasn't there a thing I was going to there was a thing I was going to craft. I think there it was the one of the circa things, right? The fish tank. Let's use a nucleus to spawn in what we need for that. What did we need for that? This one here, the one that doesn't have an icon yet. Crystal, stone, and raw fish meat. Let's get that then. You get crystal, and I can choose how many. It said like 500, didn't it? Uh, that should be good. And send to player inventory. Super easy. And raw fish meat. All right. It's a little more than I needed, but whatever. All right, can I craft this now? Yes, now let's see if it works even though it has no picture. It might not. Okay, is it here? Yes, it, it, it thinks it's there. Oh, 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 it exists. It is a thing. Let's see what it looks like. Oh yeah, it's not finished. That must be why that must be why it doesn't have an icon, because it wasn't finished yet. Ah, well. Too bad.
There are plenty of other beautiful things in the mod, though. <laughs> yeah. Modders make things the way it is intended, and we, the players, enjoy breaking things. Honestly, that's how you test mods, though, is you try to break it. You mess around with it and see what it can do. And it's fun. I love to... I love to misuse and break things to use things in ways they were never intended. All right, this this is one of the statues in the mod. Isn't that gorgeous? I love the coloring on this. And so, yeah, back to wall and floor decor here. I have wondered for so long why someone didn't use the models that are already in the game as decor. And this modder actually did that. So they used all of the dino models, or a bunch of them anyway, to make little figurines you can collect and display, like on the shelves here. I think it's kind of funny how they're all close to the same size, which works really well for figurines, of course. But yeah, those are super fun. This here is actually, a, it's called a storage totem or something like that yes glowing storage totem so can i open this this mod did just have an update i think there may have been sometimes um when they're working on mods they move things around they move files around whatever which can make things kind of break a little bit if they were already placed but you know it's one of the things you get used to if you play with mods a lot. I love these these dragon statues. Look at this one. Love that. And then there's a, like a white marble one and a black marble one. Okay, let's. I did put some other things in the this vault here. Am I crashing or something? Why can I not interact with these things? Like this whole area over here. is going on let me try to spawn in another wall and floor decor thing um, let's search for deco and the things that are in french are mostly from shoko decor the name of the mod in the code here will likely be something different from what um, its final name was but usually you can figure it out okay wall and floor decor admin box let's see if we can place enough oh oops i got 729 admin boxes because i forgot i didn't reset that okay let's try this so many admin boxes all right there we go. Now we can access it. So this admin box has all the items that are in the mod. I believe that if you're actually using this mod as a player, I believe it's got its own crafting table. Yeah, wall and floor decor station unlocks at level one. Oh, there's so many things from different mods that unlock at level one. At... 20 hide, 5 silica pearl, and 10 metal ingots. So let's find the decor table here. Put in here. Crafting table. There it is. Oh, decor station. That's what they need. That's why I couldn't find it. Oh, that looks cool. I like that. L look at, I love the little teensy little creatures on there. The little figurines. There's a little otter, the little aloe. That is fun. Right, unicorn. All right. And then inside here, it's got all the engrams. And I believe leave that this is another one where all the engrams live in the crafting table i don't think you need to unlock them 
but let's double check. Oh, maybe you do. Because I searched WAF and... Oh, I bet these are the ones that are reskins of crafting stations, I bet. Because it might be a little OP to give you access to things like a refrigerator and freezer before you actually unlock them, or at least got to the level where you could unlock them in the base game. So things that are just decor you don't have to unlock, but things that are crafting stations or whatever you do, it looks like. That makes sense. Okay. Now, let me drop some of this other junk I don't need. Drop all of this. Okay. Let's just take the lot, shall we? Or at least as much as I can carry. Am I black boxed? I am. I am slot capped. Okay. I believe they said that they were going to remove the chandelier because some people were saying it was they were causing lag. So those are not long for this world, sadly. Let's see. Here's a. Oh, is this a wall thing or something? Or no, it snaps there. Interesting how it's trying to snap. Okay, why are you not snapping? Sometimes I have like mod interactions too. Um, I do know that our our medieval decor has been having some issues lately and sadly it decided to have issues when the creator Nanea was ill and not at home and able to take care of it. Usually Nanea is like right on it. Like I have let her know about like really small piddly little issues before and boom, she had it fixed in 24 hours. She is incredible, but she's not well right now. And so she has not been able to fix some of the issues that um, our, our medieval build medieval structures has been having and it apparently sometimes conflicts <clears throat> with other building mods but i didn't want to fully remove it because i had a bunch of things out that were from that mod Ooh, look you can set stuff on the admin box nice hey killin tour is the model too detailed I don't think it's that because it let me place even more detailed models. Um, were you referring to, I was trying to put down the freezer or whatever. It let me put down this Japandi bench. It was just this simple freezer I was trying to place, but maybe it's because I didn't have any cables down. I don't have any power around here or something, but yeah, it's like snapping to things, but then not wanting to place. Like it's looking for things to snap to. It may just not be snapping to the right things at the moment. Okay, let's just... Let's try all of these different trophy wall mounts. Can I put these in my hotbar? No, I cannot. That's strange. Yeah, some... The thing with, um... With having access to, like, an admin box or even in Nucleus is that sometimes it'll it'll give you access to everything that's in the mod even if it's not ready for public use yet um a lot of times a modder may have an unfinished item in there and they just don't have an engram for it yet like they will purposely make it so that it can't be crafted but then if you're spawning things in with admin commands or with nucleus it will still show up as being in the mod so that's probably what we're seeing is there's some things that were probably not quite finished yet that I'm seeing that you may not see if you're actually just playing with the mod. Okay, let's see. Oh, that is nice. Oh, look at how crisp that is. Dang, that looks good. I love that they use some of the actual art from the game along with some custom stuff like these glass walls this wolf glass stained glass wall is incredible and then they also gave some other 
ones that you can mix and match with it to like do a pattern. It's just so cool looking. I love that. Now there's three different ones. Oh, a large framed picture with various images to choose from. Medium frame picture with various images to choose from. A small frame picture with various images to choose from. Okay, so let's start with the small ones then. And let's go over here. Lighting is weird over here. It's a little weird everywhere, but it's weirder there. Let me grab a different... No, I, I have to drop something in order to do that. Um, this is a figure. I, I think I... Yeah, I already placed these figurines. They're so cute, though. Okay, drop the Beezle Bufo. Oh, and there's a cat. Oh, that's a big cactus. That's a very big cactus. Oh, and there's different variants of it, too. Let's check those out. Okay, different sizes. Okay. This is apparently something that was caused by the issues with um, the our, our medieval structures. For some reason, it was messing up some other mods, and this was the kind of things that it was causing. Was I, I'm guessing that's the small cactus, but it popped out when I was trying to choose the medium cactus, and now there is no small cactus, it seems like. So anyway, that's not... A problem with this mod that's a conflict with a different mod so I just want to make sure that you don't blame this creator for that now grab a wall what wall do we want to use there are so many different ones in here Let's use the plaster one. I think that would make a nice neutral backdrop. It's not cooperating. I just placed these the other day. Dang it. I may have to like restart the server or something because it is just being all kinds of stupid. Fine then if you're going to be like that. Let's just try to see how many of these we can put out for now. Can you use the cactus to make some alcohol? You trying to brew tequila there? Okay, there's that. You'll have to make your own tequila brewing mod, I suppose. And there's a dark version. Okay, that one's not placing. Yeah, there's only, it's only showing these two different variants and it's not cooperating with placing the second one. I hate to have to do it, but I think I'm going to have to remove the RR medieval structures for now, which means I'm going to have to redo a lot of this castle build that I started over here. I was doing this as kind of an example of mixing different structure mods together and how to do it in a way that doesn't look like a massive mess. Um, so, yeah. Take a look. It's going to be gone soon because I'm going to have to remove this mod. I was also mixing it with Klinger rustic structures and with architect structures. Yeah, I think I think primarily those it was it was RR medieval structures and Klinger rustic structures and architect structures remastered. But I was having a lot of fun with layering the different textures and colors and variants and very, very nice. But if you're going to be stupid, we're going to have to do that. You know what? Yeah, I, I do agree with you very much so, Killing Tor, that if people have a prefix in front, it will help a lot with... Well, I know from a user perspective, it helps a lot with finding items that are from that mod, as well as knowing what mod something is from. Because sometimes, you know, you see something in your Engrams list, but then you don't know which crafting station to actually make it in. Because if it's not labeled, then like you don't know. Like this one here, I mean, K Rust, um, Klinger is usually pretty good with it, but for some reason, this one isn't 
label. You can figure it out because it says requires Angram K rustic wood ceiling, but there's no indication on the actual thumbnail picture there or in the name. Um, sometimes they, they make the picture different, which can help, like the green glow for all of the things from Gremio Land decor. Uh, and then, of course, uh, architect structures remastered. I really appreciate. And he did this after a lot of feedback from the community. Uh, Gimmelcat has been very open to feedback, which I appreciate. But yeah, he put an ASR on all of the engrams as well as on if you craft the item, it'll, it'll be on there in your inventories, which helps you tell it apart from vanilla structures that have a similar picture. Really, really nice. I wish everybody would put a little code on the picture like that, as well as putting it in the name of the items. And as you say, apparently it can make things, mods less likely to conflict with each other as well, which that's very good to know. Okay, well, I, I think we're going to need to either restart this map and then come back for more mod testing, or we could pivot again and head back to Aberration in Ark Survival Evolved, where I had just started a survival playthrough last week on a different stream. So I am going to do a little poll here. And we'll see what y'all choose. I have, where are all my layers here? I can't tell. There it is, okay. Did I close my live? No, there it is, okay. All right. So many things open. Okay, let me start a poll here. And if things cooperated, I was planning on a little bit later working on a small build combining mods from uh, combining items from several different building mods. Like I that's why I grouped all of the structures from these mods over here. It was because I kind of thought that they might all work fairly well together to mix and match pieces together, which by the way, I can't speak enough about this mod. Highly, highly recommend Shoko's decor. It's tiny. 200 megabytes is really small, especially for a deco mod and one that includes a full structure tier. It's, it's really cool for your hyper modern looking things. It's got all these colorful marble textures as well as this nice shiny like a subway tile black brick and then i really love the colorful glass walls and stuff like it this would be so fun to build with for some kind of event can you imagine building a maze <laughs> with these glass walls that would be a little disorienting so much color everywhere and them being translucent and they have versions with and without the black frame around the edges and yes, there is also clear glass that is, uh, it is not fully invisible, but it's pretty dang close to it. If you, you could look, you might be able to spot that against the sky there. It's just slightly darker. So that's, this is a fun one for sure. And hey, it's got a pool. Woo! But this mod is in French, so that means that you may have to use a little bit of guesswork and detective work when um, actually trying to craft the things. This is another one where you just unlock the crafting table and the engrams are in the actual crafting table, probably accepting, except for the, uh, the ones that are reskins of crafting stations, I'm guessing. Okay, that music seems 
pull that back a smidge. Okay. But this one, the crafting station, is this little laptop here that just can sit on a surface. And it's called PC in the engrams list. So you just have to uh, unlock PC at, here at level 10. And yeah, it's all in French, but you know, you can use Google Translate if you can't figure it out. Most things are pretty clear from the picture what they are. I really love the gun case. The gun case is really nice and it actually only will take guns and ammo. You can't put anything in it besides guns and ammo. And there's these little ra radios which play different tunes. All of these different sleek modern looking beds including my favorite the color shifting rainbow one like how can you not love that that's just awesome the only thing i haven't been able to figure out the purpose of is this thing i mean maybe shoko or just really likes crickets or something but yes it makes cricket noises and well, I think they're gone now, but it was generating crickets in here for some reason. I don't know what you do with said crickets. Is it, is the generator off? This little wall thing is actually a generator. Gasoline? Ah, there we go. Thank you. Oh, I think I'm still slot capped. That's oh no, nope, I did put something here. So apparently, it needs power to generate grass uh, crickets. I I I don't know what you're supposed to do with the crickets, but it generates crickets for you. It might be unfinished. I'm not sure. Yeah, some of the plants there do look like they're missing textures, but that could be just just a texture that was broken in an update or something. And this here is an air conditioner. Nice, sleek, slim little air conditioner. And this is just scratching the surface of all of the different neon art that is in the mod. There is a ton of it, uh, including individual letters so you can spell out whatever message you want. I use the color shifting ones in a ever so subtle hint. <laughs> um, but there's also ones that are steady that just stay the same color. Like I think there's like white and blue and yellow and green and red or something. Cool little neon lamp as well. Massive um, 3D map of the island. You want to feel like a giant. Oh look, there's even lava inside the volcano. And this is a hatchery. Got all these cool modern uh, appliances. And the fact that they are all pretty simple in design is probably why this mod is so small. Only 300 megabytes because, you know, these things are all pretty low poly. There's not a lot of polygons involved in these. They Most of the things don't have a ton of texture to them. I really like this flooring though. I think this just, this looks really nice. They did a good job of making a very neutral wood flooring that looks pretty smooth, but still has a little bit of texture to it. And it's not too yellow or too pink or too orangey. Some of the woods that I've seen others use are just really hard to mix and match with because the undertones are very strong. And we've got a shower here. There's even Christmas decorations. And a lovely little bonfire. And your hot tub. And a DJ booth. I mean, what more could you want? <laughs> so, anyway. Okay, let me check the... Check the poll now. Enough dithering around while waiting for y'all to vote. Yep, it looks like... It looks like Aberration won the poll, so let's do that. I'm going to put y'all on my pause screen for just a few minutes while I switch over. So I will be right back after these messages.
All right, I am back. I uh, let me work on getting my camera up here. Um, this the screen is still black, but I was just enjoying the aberration theme so much that I wanted y'all to be able to enjoy it with me while I'm setting up my camera here. I love the aberration theme so much. There we go. Move things around here. Okay. And looks like the chat came over to the new screen just fine. Oh, I just I I I could listen to this music like all day. Um Gareth Coker is on Twitter, or if you must, on Elon's X, and uh, and he was talking about the music that he composed for the animated series and how he really enjoyed being able to compose more music for ARC other than just the main map themes and, and essentially like boss battle and fight music, you know, he was able to explore kind of the softer side of arc in some of the character themes and different things like that and apparently the the full soundtrack will be coming out for purchase on the 29th and i am really excited to get my hands on that and he said that it will be available also for people to use um they're totally fine with people using it on uh, youtube videos or what they call uh ug see user generated content so social media type stuff youtube twitch whatever we're free to use that music and it sounds like some really amazing music i cannot wait <sighs> oh that's just normal for mimic though uh Gextrix. Mim Mimic's always babbling away to himself incoherently. Haven't you been around Mimic at all? <laughs> oh. That's why we love him. Because he's funny sometimes even when he's babbling away to himself incoherently. I kind of do the same. That's why I became a streamer and why I was telling him that he should become a streamer. Because, you know, if you talk to yourself anyway all the time, you might as well, you know, Try to make at least a hobby, if not a job, out of it, you know? Might as well get paid for what you're doing anyway. <laughs> Come on now! Don't fail me now, game! Why are you taking so long? Ah, there we go! Things are happening! Oh, that would be amazing, Gex. And you totally could since they're allowing user-generated content. I bet people would love to see thrash 90s metal renditions of the various ARC themes. That, that could go viral within the ARC community. That would be fun. So I did a little bit of like resource gathering and stuff after the stream last time. Nothing major, but I wanted to at least get enough of a beginner base built that I felt safe, like, logging out and wouldn't be worried about logging, you know, logging back in, even if it is single player. It's just habit from playing on servers, but, you know, finding myself right in front of a raptor or something. I'd like to have some walls around myself before we, um, before logging out for the first time at least. Mongolian throat music version of ARC music. That would be an interesting thing. I could, I like to hum along with the ARC music sometimes. That, that could be funny to release that too sometime. Mm 
Ben Kent, huh? I haven't... Oh, hey, Zanzibar! No, you didn't miss it! Um, I got the... I got... Um, the ban hammer or something. I... It, anyway, YouTube shut down the stream. Even though I was doing my best to make it a commentary and review stream, like not just showing it, I was pausing it, I was talking, I had it small on the screen and fairly quiet, the audio was playing, but their content sensors were very sensitive and apparently you can only get away with with reviewing new content like that if you're a large channel or something. So, yes, the video has already been blocked worldwide. So, yes. I don't know if it was Paramount. It was probably YouTube's bots, honestly, but Paramount may have told YouTube's bots to be um, especially draconian. I don't know. So, yeah, here is the little start of a base here that I created so far. I'm mostly using the Atlas thatch stuff from Architect Structures Atlas. But I really love this spot. I found this little spot down here last time. And yes, I added the flowers too. Those are from the Vegetation Planters mod. Love that mod. But yeah, I I found this little nook in here and I threw down some sleeping bags in a box and threw my bulb dog in here as just a starter little spot. But then the more I looked around at it, I just, I really like this as a spot for a base. I like all the different levels to it and I like being able to kind of incorporate the ruins and yeah, so I'm kind of excited about that. And I've got a few critters here that I tamed last time, all fairly pathetic in levels here. We've got Ravager Bait, the raptor, and uh, a few creatures were named after uh, channel members. So we've got Sebastian Leva and we have Susu82. You got to do that right on camera. Seriously? And we have Edwina Pincher Hands here. And I am hungry again already. Do I have any food? I do not. <sighs> and oh yes, this, this little bulb dog is Subsonic Chronic as well. Now do I have... Did you guys eat all the food or did it rot? Or where is my food? I thought I had food. Where's, I don't even know where my, where my fire went. I guess I'll eat berries for now, just so I can stop planing like that. There. Okay, I've got these crafting stations. I picked up and moved a bunch of stuff around. I've got my bed up here now. I did I not place down a campfire? I, think I might have picked up my campfire to move it and not put it down again. Did also pipe water all the way out to all the way out to there to the water. I see the little spots where it went above the ground, but I did my best to keep it neat and tidy and mostly underneath the mesh because I don't like pipe spam all over the place. Yeah, I'm not seeing a fire anywhere. I have to make one, I guess. Oh, no thatch. Dang it, always running out of thatch these days. Hey, uh, yeah, killing toward this bulb dog and the other bulb dog, too. Actually, I've got RR Rainbow Star Dinos on here. I love that mod. It just they're it's just a visual variation like it doesn't give them any different stats but um there's a lot of different dinos that'll have these rainbow color shifting uh regions on them like actually this scorpion is also a rainbow star both of these are i believe or no are these these ones actually might just be yeah these ones are just aberrant but this one is rainbow so she's got the color shifting stripes and sparkly bits okay let me here you raptor uh follow me for backup who did i whistle at here edwina you follow me too oh you are following me okay 
You've got some meat. Need some more health. All right. But this is also why I like this spot, because it's fairly defensible. I like the way the ruins are right here. There's only a few little spots where I have to place walls. The, the terrain is rough enough up there that so far I re haven't really had a problem with things coming from that direction. Come on, stupid raptor. Come on. And our stuck parasaur friend is still there. We're keeping that one as prime meat on the hoof for some time if we need it. Come on now, Ravager Bait. There you go, this way. You can't walk in a straight line. I'm gonna leave you at home if you're gonna be like this. There you go. <sighs> All right. I keep running out of thatch and wood. So I may have to go a little farther afield in order to get some. There were a bunch of ravagers up there last time, so I built the trap, but then I didn't have time to actually try to catch any of them yet. I just barely unlocked Trank Arrows. I am level 24. So this on the map, good question, Zibar. This is actually right over here. This is, you may recognize this spot. This is exactly where the hotel was, the, when I, um, in our steampunk aberration playthrough, I built the Reaper Queen Hotel right in this spot in these ruins. So I'm just, just down the hill from there. So in that way, it is nice that it feels a little bit familiar, even though, of course, playing it with the steampunk mod is very different and also playing it with a nice fairly safe place to log out and respawn and stuff is also very different and apparently this diplo is stuck are you also being um ooh. are you also being prime meat that we're saving for later i see a spino down there level eight i don't know if you guys could deal with one either, even one that's level eight i don't know Ooh, rainbow star triceratops the ravager is pretty low level so i'm not too worried about that one it's like level five or something Ooh, that is such a pretty rainbow trike though you know what I forgot? I need to make myself a note or something. I forgot that I was thinking... Seriously? I forgot that I was going to add kickflips to this, which is my, one of my favorite mods. Uh, in ASE, it's one that makes Lystrosaurus's rideable like you can ride them like a skateboard it's called kickflips and it is a ton of fun i used it in my in my scorched apocalypse themed playthrough right then can we repair this what do we need to repair this stone okay. And we need some flint to repair that as well. Let's try not to aggro the spino. Where is there a rock I can smack for some flint? Hmm. I don't really see any. I might just have to not use my hatchet out here. I'm mostly here to get thatching. Oh, look at the list, Rosie! I am very tempted. But I don't need another fairly useless creature right now. Now you, on the other hand, level 96. You would be very good to have. 
And I bet I could get you to come up the hill away from the Spino. The Spino looks like it's kind of gone. Let's... There it is. Let's harvest this real quick. Scavenge. What level is that? Well, of course. All right, guys. If I'm going to tame this trike, I'm going to need to leave you guys at base. Yep, this is definitely the green zone. I would not try to start out somewhere else. Oh, and I'm thirsty. Go refill my water skin too. And get some meat cooking up. Now, can you guys manage to get through the gate? There, look at you go, Raptor Bait. You figured it out. Dude. Got a level. Let's see. Let's give you some more melee. And we're going to steal all the meats because we're going to cook it up. Although I don't think I have a trough yet, so I guess you guys can keep some. You can keep a few. Oh, and I was going to look at what was wrong with my settings. I don't think I meant I changed anything, but I was getting thirsty ridiculously fast last time. I don't know why I was going through water so fast. I was. Okay. I'm not going to try to set up like a kitchen or anything, at least not just yet. I'm going for practicality over aesthetics. Especially early on in a survival playthrough, that's what I tend to do. Here, this guy. And, ooh, I've got some very slightly better shoes, so we will swap to those. Yay. All of level 12. Oh, wait. I just put those over, put that over my mortar and pestle by accident. Yes, I did. Guess we can put the fire up here. I don't like having it down where dinos might accidentally step on it and take damage. So we can keep it up here. It's the S plus one has a decent amount of slots. This that we can cook. In fact, let's make another fire as well. See if we can cook more of this before it all spoils away. right on my shoulder buddy oh I already have the other one on my shoulder I totally forgot look at the size difference it's kind of crazy how they shrink when you pick them up <laughs> that is crazy
Ah, uh, nope, nope. I'm really close to the water here, which I kind of had to do because of the fact that I keep getting thirsty so fast. Yeah, so had to stick a little closer to the water, but it does, it is not too terribly far from where we went for surface runs, see? Um, but yeah, it's like right by where the hotel was, which for anyone who is curious, I did put together the, uh, the playlist of all of the videos that I have from that aberration, um, steampunk aberration playthrough that we did back in 2022. And yes, we did steampunk aberration first, even before wildcard did. So... It was kind of fun. It was a very fun playthrough. You know what? I think I need all of that here, probably. And I need a preserving bin. Did I unlock that yet? I did not. Did I unlock the spark powder? Yes, yeah, okay. these things in there and then work on making some spark powder for them. I make like 50, well 90. I need more. What do I need more of? Flint and stone. Lovely. All right then. And do I have a feeding trough? No. Metal left. Yeah. Alright. Now how many drink I should that should be enough drink arrows. Alright. Well, I have a fairly good ch chance of potentially getting killed here, so let's leave you there. I don't think Subsonic would like it if I got the bulb dog that is named after him killed, like the very first time I take it out anywhere. left behind and let's go and see if I can aggro a trike. Let's make sure I got the right arrows. Don't want to do that. Don't want to accidentally shoot it with the wrong arrows. Not that I have ever done that before. Of course I wouldn't be dumb enough to do that. I'd be tempted to use my trap except uh, last I checked, there were Ravagers up here, and I kind of wanted to try to trap them in there. Are they still here? Maybe not. Ravagers appear to have moved on. Okay. 
Not going to complain about that. Well, I can probably reconfigure this trap then so that maybe it will work for the trike. Um, I have some thatch. Earthquake, can you give me some thatch, please? Fine, I'll go punch a tree. I did have one, dang it. I just didn't see it in there. It's been a little bit weird getting used to the fact that once again I have to be careful about picking things up in the right order or they'll just break and gotten spoiled on the way it works in... ASA. Oh, is on manual. I would like this to be moved over there. I don't think it needs to be as high. Ravagers jump. Trikes don't tend to. Oh, and these don't want to snap. That's right, without a ceiling. It's kind of funny. You just need the ceiling there just to give you the snap point, and then you can remove the ceiling. Always funny the negotiating tactics you have to use with classic arc building. All right, now let's see if we can get it to come. Yeah, see, look, I'm already thirsty. It's just going down so fast. We've got a stego. Thankfully, all the stegos and parasers and trikes over here have been doing a pretty good job of killing stuff so that I can just come and like scavenge behind them since they're all herbivores and don't eat them things that they kill. Man, that Spino is still over there being a menace. You want to come be friends with me? Here's it. The aberration fight music is so ominous sounding. Can't see a thing over the bushes here. Could you let me know if you see that trike coming? It's over there. I could just knock it out over here. I'm just a little worried about that Spino. I don't want it to ruin my tame. It might take a minute because of using only berries. Um, can you like quit hiding behind the Pariser? Thank you. Yep, oh, yep, there it is. He's coming. He's coming. You stuck? There, now you're coming. Even if that one didn't hit. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna try not to poke, to, not to get poked to death. Hey, hey, hey! You already forgave me that fast?
<laughs> it already forgot. That is a pretty must job. Say what? Only level eight. Okay, why didn't that hit? That should have hit. Come along. Your father was a your mother was a hamster and your father smelled of elderberries. Oh yeah. This is a thing. Let's hope I can knock it out before it can break out. I've done this before. It's a little close usually. But as long as it's not mate boosted and there's only one, it is theoretically possible. So we shall see. Here, let's at least move over to the other side, maybe, or something, so that you don't keep breaking the same spot. No, you're not going to turn anyway. You're aggroed on that specific wall. Oh, are you Torpor fleeing? You look like you're torpor fleeing. Dang it. He shoot you in the tender bits, okay? I don't want to shoot you on your... Oh, there we go. Alright. Did I ever get an... I don't think I unlocked the saddle for my iguanodon. Nope. So I'm still... Collecting berries by hand. The Iguanodon did make pretty good backup for some early exploration missions, though. And it has good weight, so it was good for carrying stuff for me. That should be in there. Just in case, we'll give you some, some of these berries too. And now I need to go get some more water. <sighs> Any suggestions of what we should name? Trike. It's... Look at this guy. Been stuck there for as long as I have been in this area. I want to build like stairs or a ladder up into there at some point. All kinds of interesting nooks and crannies in these ruins. did finally unlock the raptor saddle, but I think the raptor might be too low level to bother, but we will check and see. What is your weight, anyway? You're at least faster than me. You could carry me with everything I've got on me right now. But I didn't unlock it, and I kind of don't want to waste the points on it if I didn't unlock it yet. I guess we'll see if we can find one in a drop.
have some mushrooms. And all of these, all of the things that I don't need, you can just take them all. Oh yeah, I was gonna throw these structures in there. You got medjos. Two, but only three. Might want to get some more just in case. Some nice smooth jazz that we can listen to. Where is my music player? There it is. Can I harvest that? No, apparently not. All right, let's do a little exploring around, shall we? Some more flint and I definitely need more metal so that's one thing also that I need to look for. I don't remember where the closest metal was to here. <laughs> if the music is too sleepy for you then I can turn on something else. But hey, you know, a lot of people just like to chill on a Friday night. For me, I like a, a wide variety of different types of music. A very wide variety, but I've found that if I have a headache coming on or something, the one music, the one type of music that makes it better instead of worse is actually jazz. Like just smooth jazz, just it's headache medicine. Seriously, it is really nice sometimes. But I also like classical musics and soundtracks and synthwave and a little bit of metal now and then. I'm not really into the kind where people are like screaming their voices raw, that that just doesn't sound healthy to me as a vocalist myself. But I do enjoy some types of metal and a lot of classic rock too. I like classic rock. the ravagers. I'm just curious where those ravagers are. I did want to try to clean. Yeah, there's, there it is. It's the, there's a one point special. I did manage to get to a spot where they couldn't reach me. I don't have enough at the moment. Let's 
let's make some more drink. Is that up there? Is that a raptor or an over raptor? That is a raptor. I have to watch out for sky raptors falling on my head. Brake saddle if we can. We should be able to lock it, I think. Just barely. to see how they change aberration for ASA what they do with it will there still be earthquakes will they be worse or better survive. There's the skin. Oh, 
Hey, Courtney's eyes. Welcome, welcome. We have pivoted a few times in this stream this afternoon. Oh, Raptor. Started with a mod testing stream. This uh, started this stream with a mod testing stream anyway. Be but I kind of had to um, switch to doing something else because the mods were not cooperating. And I was going to have to restart that server or restart the game or something anyway. So I decided to do something different. And come back over here where I've got an aberration arc survival evil that I just started last week. There we go. Come along. What are we going to name you, Trike? Can I not ride you? Are you stuck? Why would it have to open that? There you go. And I've got some fun mods on here, including RR Rainbow Star Dinos. Love the beautiful color changing creatures you get. We'll put the stairs back up without a seal. They don't want to snap to just a wall. Hey there, level 20 raptor. How would you like to be XP? Ah. Uh, that is nice to have a somewhat decently leveled creature, finally. Alright, let's get some berries. Well, we should be set for narco berries for a while. Dynamic earthquakes. Uh, what what would that be like? Uh, I'm not sure what you mean by that, Dylan Tor. Definitely feel safer on the back of a trike, even if they are slow. Funny thing is about the earthquakes on um, Survival Evolved. Uh, Icebez, the modder, came on my aberration server a few times to help troubleshoot a few issues we were having with the steampunk mod. And he was really cool, actually. He was really nice. And um, and he told me about aberration, the, the, the way that the earthquakes work in the coding is that they're actually a debuff that gets applied to all of the players. A temporary debuff that just makes you shake uncontrollably and poop out resources. So it is that the, all the resources are actually coming from your character in the coding, which I think is kind of hilarious. We just need a little bit more, just a little bit more metal, and we should be able to make a trough. Um, you know what, actually, I'm going to take those by hand so I can leave you with some of them. 
So I don't want to take all your berries away. Um, here, in fact, you can keep some more. How about that? It will be interesting to see how those uh, adventure packs work on Aberration, like the whole airships thing. We actually had access to airship, to an airship, in our steampunk Aberration playthrough. There, There is one that is in the steampunk mod, but it was definitely a late game item and was extremely expensive to craft. And then, you know, it had its limitations. It was pretty slow, for one thing. The fuel was expensive. And, you know, it the, the people that crafted them, it was mostly, I think, just for giggles, you know, just for fun. They weren't seriously planning on using them as a mobile base or anything, because they're just too big for aberration. At least that one was. But... That mod did also have some really nice hot air balloons. No. The hot air balloons were fun on Aberration, but they were somewhat slow. So we definitely still used rock drakes more, more than we used the hot air balloons, even after we got them made. Should make some more soul orbs. Thatch. It's always thatch. Why is it always thatch? I keep running out of. All right, I'm gonna have to go steal some raw meat from somebody to split up. Split up for some audits. That you don't have very much. You know what? Let's just do it this way. Take like half of everybody's meat. Oh, this rainbow star bolt dog has a bunch and he doesn't even eat it. So never mind, actually. You guys can all keep your meat. See if we can find some more minutes. kill us a tech parasaur. I was tempted to tame it, but I think I'll hold out for a rainbow one. Don't desperately need a parasaur at the moment anyway. Let's get the right arrows equipped. We'll take care of that soon. You know what? Let's, let's get what I need to repair it. I know I will regret it. One thing about it playing in single player is stuff doesn't tend to respawn 
in between play sessions. What level is that? So 19. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. me okay uh, you're gonna have to die buddy hopefully you don't have any friends nearby that scared me thankfully it's only a level eight that they dropped health. Did you know? Get that there. And this uh go deck appears to have found a cozy spot. here. Still up here causing havoc. I saw it down there. It's kind of weird because usually they stick pretty close to the water. This one's kind of gone rogue. Still down there. But if I can kill him, he's pretty low level. Only level 8. Get some good XP. I know. And why can't I hit you? Leave that poor doe dick alone. Go pick on somebody your own size. Who's gonna win? Parasur's 36 but half held. Oh, both going down. Let's root for the Parasur. Uh, looks like maybe the Spino won. No good level points though. Too bad. So sad. Now I'm stuck. Down here, where I would rather not be. Where are the spine is. Let's hope it doesn't see me. That or the rabbit. Fancy my chances. Drink. 
There we go. bear Parasaur. Parasaurs and Parasurs. This game just has way too many creatures with similar names. Hey, okay, where did your robotic looking friend go? Huh? Just over here. You know, I'm really looking forward to making his uh, wingsuit. There's the tech there, so 19. And of course, now we got a rap. Ooh, a 92 raptor. Now that one would be worth something. Let's see if I can lure them closer. I would rather not be pounced by them, and I feel relatively safe up here. Life of a doe dick. Get anybody? What is the arrow drop? I'm having trouble figuring out the arrow drop. Up there, and they don't have the ASA smarter AI. Yeah, the still lose the track. There they go! a new thing I that's been added to this rainbow stars creatures mod since last time I used it the rainbow star creatures what is that did not sound good anyway um rainbow star creatures now drop these special like implants when they die and uh, the tooltip on them says you can use them for some special crafting, but so far I haven't found any recipes to use them. Okay, uh, where's the rafters? Let's hope that I don't pass out from thirst. You are pretty, of course, and you're only a level 8. It's only the level eight, but um, dang it! <laughs> I did get a uh, a webcam chiseled musket. Welcome, welcome. Alrighty. I hope this is the right bed. I don't even remember. I should name the beds here. Ah, yes, it is. Alright, um, hmm. Well, so much for that. Let's see, I think I left some extra gear in here. Not much, but at least some shoes. There we go. Now I'm not completely naked because I have shoes. I know what I think I can do. Let's take you out and use you to clear out the low levels. Put you on passive, though. 
Because once we have the lower level ones killed, we can bola the higher level one. Okay, and let's grab an Omni tool. Yay for ASE mods. All right, pick our fancy new trike out for a spin. You gotta admit, you know, as trikes go, this is the sports car variant of, of a trike, definitely. Close enough? Can I pull my stuff yet? Not basic transfer. Advanced transfer. Yes, okay, good. Oh, dang it. Hello, Raptor. Hey, I didn't know you could pounce me from on the trike! At least I was still able to, ah, to whistle the trike. I hope you were not one of the higher level ones. I did not know they could pounce you from on top of a creature. Or if I knew that at one time, I completely forgot. Is there no take all but I say it every time but every time I wonder why is there no take all but throws a monkey wrench in the works if they can pounce me from this back of this trike. That's kind of how I was hoping to prevent being killed again was hmm, to use the trike to kill them and or be a distraction. Maybe I could use the trike for a step stool. think they can reach me from up here. Let's hope that I can actually shoot at them. That's a 16. That's the 92, the blue one. Of course it would be the less brightly colored one. That should have hit. Why are these not hitting? Guys, that's cheating. Here. Don't think I can throw a bolo that far, so could you come a little closer, please? Please. Hey, Raven, welcome, welcome. Come on, you guys, don't be shy. I just want to be friends. Man, these hitboxes.
like two of them. I probably could build with both of them. Just I would have to get away, get back up here or something before before the timer gave out because I need to kill one and tame the other. Sixty. Here. Really need to find enough metal to make make a crossbow. Hassling a roll rat. You guys better not get yourselves killed. Oh, nope. Looks like they already killed it. And there's a third raptor. And there's two stegos. No, 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 no. You guys don't. Don't even think about attacking the stegos. You will die. Man, I am just. What? I am. Such a terrible shot today. Dang it. I am losing my touch. Uh, Trike. Let's go clear out the scorpions, shall we? Attacking the trikes. I mean the stegos. They're attacking the stegos. Stan, definitely. Yeah, because it's arc. Yeah, that's that pretty much answers most questions about that kind of thing. Uh, what level are these stegos? 116! Uh, yeah, the raptors are dead. Dang it. <sighs> See? You should have just made friends with me. Trike needs a name. Any suggestions for this rainbow glowy trike? That third raptor go. I guess the trikes hit it so hard that it evaporated. Oh well, me and my sturdy friend here shall go in search of metal, I suppose. I think that big meadow area that has like the big spiky rocks in it, I remember where that is. I don't remember. I think we used to go there for mushrooms, but I don't remember. I don't remember it, what else they had over there. Here is the metal, mostly in the blue zone, probably.
I need to level up my gear. Get me some grapples and wingsuits and all of that good stuff. Got an overabundance of scorpions over here right now. wish they would have done, you know, given trikes a, a, ni a nice little TLC for ASA. Trikes should not be so slow. I think they could have a nice little gallop or something, right? Out of stam. Here, eat some food. Eat some food. There. All right, now you wait here, buddy, and I will be right back. Oh, let's split all. Some more narcotics cooking up. Oh, I keep forgetting I don't have very good weight. Keep some berries. I need yet, no. I cannot. Yep, move. All right. All right. Well, Gex, if, if you're going to complain about the music again, fine. I'll switch to something a little more lively. How about some nice white bat audio? Start the song over. I do like the the energy in the, the synth wave. It's really nice. It's not it's not too crazy or anything, but it definitely has some energy. Make a good amount of narcotics. So let's craft up some drugs and be back on our merry way. I think I've gotten spoiled playing Pal World and other games recently, but Ark, Ark really could use some built-in automation of some of the grindy resource gathering. A 
and earthquakes. I don't remember them being this often. Gonna get there. Batch again. You always have. I left you following. We, need, we really need a name. I'm trying to think of the name that would be just right. So many windows layered over here because one of my screens broke, so I'm down to only two screens. Let's see. You know what? Because you need a really cool name, so I will name you after a really cool channel member. How about that? You can be Mikey's Gaming Oasis. But we can call you Mikey for short. Oh yeah, that's also being down here. Can have most of these. Have And let's go get some metal. And why did the music quit? Why did the music die? Oh, and I got another bow. Nice. All right. Let's hope I don't get you killed immediately through like a massive pack of rab ravagers or something. That would be that would be very very bad. I think I need some more paint. I am always Mikey the Trikey, exactly, Raven. <laughs> Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> That's why I keep you around. <laughs> Mikey the Trikey, indeed. Okay. Oh, 
in my defense, it has been a somewhat long day with a lot of pivoting being needed. Originally, I was going to do a stream doing commentary and, you know, reviewing whatever the, the animated series. But apparently Paramount and YouTube are really cracking down on that because they had me shut down so fast. Even though I was, I thought I was doing it right, but... And so, ooh, this... with a high level, kill the other ones, a bit risky though, quite a bit risky. But nothing ventured, nothing gained, right? I just don't want to get Mikey the Crikey killed immediately. Which one is the high level? It's a female. The alpha. Man, I would love to get several of them actually. They're all fairly decent levels. Oh, and look at that. We even have mutton on the hoof right here. It is meant to be. What can you, what else can I say? Okay, now then we have to look at the terrain and try to figure out to use the terrain to our advantage so that we don't we hopefully don't get killed I don't want to have to stop and build a trap either. Ooh, another rainbow break uh, stupid, I love it. Ravagers could jump up that high. I might be able to get up on this thing. Still risky, but possibly it is possible, I should say. Maybe I should have added immersive painting, but I think that would have just made it too easy. That is an awesome mod. I'm not sure that it makes for the best content. You know, the fact that the trike can get up here doesn't necessarily bode well for the Ravagers not being able to get up here. Can you get up? Whoa, look at that. Hopefully this is a roundabout for them. Oof. Okay. Just didn't mean to do that. Huh. Interesting nooks and crannies in here. You know what? If I could, I could shoot down there pretty easily. Wish I could get a little farther in. See if I can get up. Because that's really what I was planning on doing. Oh, nope. That's not going to be a thing I can do, is it? Nope. <sighs> Carry around a foundation or two. Some of these bulldogs are crazy. Come on, pick the fiber. Pick, pick, pick. Thank you. Come on. Fiber, thank you. 
There are ravagers over there. I would rather not be eaten by said ravagers. Oh, that's right, dang it. I didn't I didn't unlock the regular ones because I was making the architect structures ones. Well, one more piece of wood and I can make an architect structures crafting bench. Which might be better than a thatch foundation anyway. some foundations. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Come on, this this counts as ground, doesn't it? Dang it. Should count as ground. Shouldn't be me like that. So picky. Jeez. That means you probably aren't gonna let me put batch foundations either, are you? It looks like we were having some connection issues there. Sorry about that. But it looks like it reconnected, so... That's a good thing. Let's see. Maybe one of these and maybe some stairs. Oh, I already had some. Now I have two. is a little tiny piece of ground, but it's not going to let me get up there. Gotta get up on there. Little old me versus four ravagers. I don't necessarily like those odds, but let's see if we can bring over Brawn here. The problem is the line between a very stupid idea and a very smart idea is a very thin line. And sometimes the only difference, the only real difference between the two is whether it worked or not didn't work, it's a stupid idea. If it worked, it's a smart idea. That's all there is to it. And of course, before you actually do it, you don't know which it's going to be. Between me and them.
wish I had a grapple. Just with need more gold pieces. At that point, I maybe might as well make a trap. The problem is, with that many raptors, even getting them in a trap would be very, very difficult. And so, I think I'm still better off trying to get to where they can't reach me. Welcome, welcome! Alright. The, rap the Ravagers have moved over there. Pick all of this up. And hopefully, we can find a spot where we can shoot at them and they won't get us. <laughs> mm. Ab is a fun map, and I don't. I don't really feel like I've had a from scratch playthrough over here because I've played over here, but that playthrough was um, two years ago and we were playing the steampunk mod. So, and I got on in creative mode when I was setting up the server and I built this whole massive steampunk hotel for us to use as a community base for starting out. And so, you know, we were naked and afraid, but at least we had a safe place to retreat to. these ravagers, but they can't reach me. inside the mesh. Add it there for a second. There. Fine, you're gonna be like that. We'll put one here and then you can snap upward if you want to. Always you don't want to snap upward. But now, of course, you're going to want... Oh, oh. There. Okay. Now, will you snap down? No. It only likes to snap down if there's a seat. I don't make the rules. Them's just the rules, apparently. Oh, yeah. 
Tracks, so the raptors can follow us. If only I could. I, I have not been having very much luck with long distance shooting so far and I don't know why. Usually I don't have an issue with that, but almost none of my shots have been hitting and I swear that they were they should have hit. Okay, please, please. And wood tier. Let's where's the ASR wood tier? No, no I thought did I already unlock that? I think I might have already unlocked. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay, yeah, I unlocked all those modded pieces so I don't have to spend the Ingram points on the vanilla building pieces, which is lovely. Yeah, that would be nice to have. I'll <sighs> these things eventually, but we definitely need these. And here is my crossbow. Ooh, bulk storage, but uh, these are kind of expensive. I will wait on those. Where's the crossbow? I will be looking right past. You just have to get enough metal to actually make it. There is stone here. Grappling bow. Yes, a hundred percent, a hundred thousand percent. Death. Ooh, and Wooden Hanging Bridge. Yes, that is a very fun little mod. The bridges are expensive, but so very useful, especially on Aberration. Okie dokie. Ooh, that's expensive to make. Well worth it, but yeah, 32 metal ingots. That's pretty pricey this early in the game. Oh, you you found my channel during that series. I thought I I thought it might have been the case. I thought I remembered you in the chat even back then. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I hear you there. I there's a lot of build uh, builders I think that are not all that jazzed about building in Ascended just because yeah we miss the jank. <laughs> The jank allowed us to do so many awesome things. Ooh, look at this. There's brown in here. So many awesome things that we can't really do without that jank. I mean, I'm sure that a lot of people that are new to art and aren't very comfortable with building are probably really excited about it though, because yeah, it does make it a lot easier to build stuff if you're if you're not really comfortable with art building. Let's get both of these out here so we can have one with tranks and one with regular arrows. I don't know if I have 
have enough arrows. We've got a 44, 16, 48, and then there's a 120. I would like to tame all of them except the 16, if possible. <sighs> May not be possible, but nothing ventured, nothing gained. since I used a primitive bow in the sea. It's not even giving me much of an indication if I'm going too far or too short. Hey guys, come on! Come over here! Probably going to die. No, don't go on the other side of the tree. Dang it. What do I got to do? Throw out my trike as a bait? I should have brought my raptor over here to be bait or something. He's named Ravager Bait after all. Come on guys. You, you can see me over here, can't you? I just want to be friends. Maybe I should go home and make a make a crossbow probably should just seem to actually make find out if I have enough metal, but if I can have enough metal to at least make to at least make the metal tools, then that would be a start. Can I make one more ceiling? Please! Oh, I do have that. I forgot that had added some quarter wide ceilings to this. That's interesting. But let's see if we make a full one. No. Why the heck not? Batch. Again, fine, we'll make another quarter. reason these architect structures stairs like to snap down from ceilings they don't like to snap to walls there it's janky but it works so let's go back to base at least let's pop out my trike here Sorry, didn't mean to punch you there, Mikey the Trikey. I did leave a little bit of metal smelting. I might have enough. Maybe. Possibly. I do. Oh, I'm going to need thatch, though. We'll get that before I go back.
Get your stand back. Now, let's go smack a tree, shall we? Is that a rainbow listro? No, it's just an average. Might usually means you don't. Yeah. How many does it take anyway to make a crossbow? Actually, it only takes seven. I so I think I'm. I think I might have enough then because the um, the pick and hatchet. I think I have a total of twenty, if I'm remembering right. That only uses one. That uses eight. That's more than. That's more than the crossbow. So, might. No. Probably not, but might. Can you imagine how wild it must have been when this map released? For the first time, people used to just the island and scorched earth, and all of a sudden, this, this would feel so completely alien. You know, creatures digging into the ground. <coughs> Basilisks lurking below the surface. Smack these up a little bit. Maybe we'll get a few more pieces of metal. There we go. Two. Three. I also do need more to make a trough, though. here for a minute. We'll be fine. Uh, I have 19. Let's take the trough real quick and then we can smelt up the rest of the metal. The trough needs raw metal and we don't have enough Okay, we need eight for the trough. <sighs> Guess we'll get those somewhere else. I'm gonna have to go pull the thatch from the trike. I forgot that I Add it in the trike's inventory and not mine because I'm a dumbass. Entering the Iron Age, finally. Stone Age. 
Be gone. Yeah, this confirmed arc is actually a sci-fi game. Before I did the tech cave on the island, I had no idea. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. I mean, other than the obelisks, everything else made it seem like it was prehistoric times. But the obelisks were always there just to make people wonder. But yeah, I remember Rasclark talking about what it was like doing the Tech Cave and the Overseer and the Ascension for the first time and how absolutely mind-blowing it was. It's one of the reasons why I'm really excited for tomorrow. It's supposed to be tomorrow. I guess we'll see. But uh, Butch X3, who's a content creator I've been watching for a, a little while now, he's... He's really good at storytelling, which is something that I admire and I'm trying to get better at myself. But he's been doing an ARC playthrough, his very first ever ARC playthrough, I might add. And his thing is he likes to go into a game blind. So he's never watched an ARC video in his life. He hasn't really read any tutorials. In the beginning, he refused to even Google anything, but eventually this game is just so complex that, I mean, people in the comments and stuff were all reassuring him that no, people will not think less of you for looking stuff up. Pretty much everybody has had to look up stuff. This game does not give you enough information to figure these things out on your own. It just, that's just the reality. And, uh, but he would look up just the bare minimum if he really, really got stuck. And so it has been really interesting getting to see Ark again through new eyes, essentially, of somebody that has had zero experience with it before. And of course, he's also starting an ASA, so <laughs> that's also an interesting experience. Somebody starting an ASA who has no Ark experience of what it was like in Survival Evolve either. That definitely also makes it interesting. But anyway, he's got an episode coming out tomorrow that I have reason to believe will be him finally him doing the tech cave and the overseer for the first time. And he said on his Twitter and Patreon stuff, I'm a Patreon, that um, he has 17 hours of footage that he has to dig through. To edit this episode. It's going to be a monster edit, but I can hardly wait to see his reaction to seeing all those things for the first time. Because yeah, he didn't know that it was he doesn't know, at least the episodes that I've seen. No idea that it's a sci-fi game. He's been collecting the notes and listening to most of them, trying to figure out what they're trying to teach him. He's learned a fair bit from them. But he has no idea of, about so many things. Like it's it's been really entertaining. Anyway, like he calls Helena the posh lady because of her Australian accent. He's Scottish, um, and Rockwell he likes Rockwell's notes the best just because they're the most interesting. Because Rockwell is this such a strange and eccentric character but he has no idea what to make of Nerva's notes or maintenance uh, the whole thing of all of these people all of these notes seeming like they're from different eras it just doesn't compute he hasn't figured out how they all fit together yet we got arrows we got a crossbow <sighs> Maybe we should bring along some Ravager bait. I kind of hate to do this, but I kind of feel like I don't have a choice. I mean, I'd think about bringing the Scorpion, the low-level Scorpion, but it's named after I'm a channel member, so I can't really do that. I don't want to sacrifice poor Sebastian to the Ravagers. What would I need to make this soul gun? 30 polymer. 25 cement paste. 
Yeah, that's not going to happen for a little while. Too bad. <laughs> Big beats. And beats. And yeah, exactly. And it also makes it make a little bit more sense about why there's creatures from so many different eras of geologic history, you know? Like, didn't I... I remember hearing somewhere that the... that there are more years in separating, you know, in scientists' estimation, of course, there are more years in between the Stego and the T-Rex than there are between the T-Rex and us. Like, that's... they... scientists don't think that they um that they existed at the same time oh you are you guys are way too close now Dang. how am i supposed to get to my stairs now i guess i could just try to pull everybody before we get killed um, let's temporarily at least put you on a passive so you don't kill them. Let's see, we can do this. Whoa! Why is that not working? Come on! You guys are dodging them! There, that's one more. Oh, this is the low level one. Uh... Die! Die already! No. Uh, I... Oh, they're loose over there. Which one is this? This is the 44. Maybe we can pull it away from the others. Mikey the trachea got pretty damaged. Oh, it's coming back. Get out of the reach, trach! smart I would have had that ready uh Paris sir I don't have time for this oh I'm dead I'm dead oh, that scared me okay we're just gonna have to fight it then because I do not want to lose the trike Back, you know what? Uh, I would rather die and be able to recover my stuff and not lose the trike. <laughs> oh, there it is. Hey. Hello. That's right. Come on. Well, let's hope that you can't get out of here. I 
might it might be able to jump out. I do not know. Hey, where can I shoot at it from? Cannot see it well enough. I don't really want it want to be up there or it'll Oh there, I can almost see it. There we go. No, don't jump. No jumping allowed. Dang it, I'm wasting all my arrows. Sir, sixty. Hey, it's it's out. Ooh. Well, that was a whole thing. Uh, let's. I saw a sheep down here. Let's go get some raw mutton. Whew. Yeah, hopefully it'll be more stable by then. Uh, noise. There are quite good. There is a quite good Maywing mod, and also um, there's a Maywing in. Nakatis' uh, Svartalheim, uh, the SS Dinos mod has, has one. But yeah, no worries if you want to wait, I totally get it. I probably would have waited myself if it wasn't for the fact that I'm trying to be a content creator, because I kind of feel like I don't really have a choice because even if a lot of people aren't ready to buy the game yet or play the game, they they, they still want to watch content about the newer game. Seems like. That is another... Uh, Let's hope you came up pretty fast. Oh, you'll just need one? Perfect. Perfect. I must not have my coating on here to make prime meat- I mean, make mutton stack. I'm used to having that little spoiled, and this needs to be on the menu. Paired up and ready for next time. Is that all of it? Yeah, I'm sure it would be hard coming back to ASC, especially if you're playing vanilla ASC. I am a little spoiled in that I pretty much always play with mods. Um, it is coming in handy though because I'm trying to, I'm, I'm making a lot of content about mods in Ascended as well now, and 
having some experience with how they work in ASC has been helpful. But I am, I do really love, that's one of my favorite things actually about Survival Ascended is the fact that everybody can use mods. It's amazing. Aaron Longstaff has even been building with mods in his live streams. <laughs> Come on, eat! Yeah, it is, um, Killing Tour. Yeah. A lot of the QOL stuff is pulled directly from mods. And in fact, the new building system in ASA is created by the same guy who made S plus. They hired the S plus modder and he's the one along with GG Fizz, but GG Fizz isn't a coder, you know, he's an art builder though. And so with input from GG Fizz, the, the um, Orion Sun built the new uh, building system in ASA. And he did an amazing job. I mean, I've got to say, I mean, it's kind of sad in a way because we miss our glitches, but the least glitchy thing about ASA is the building system, in my opinion. Now we've just got to get Captain to come to the dark side. The funny thing is, Captain Fat Dog is not against mods. I mean, he's made his own mods now. He, he is a modder now. And he's used mods before, even in live streams with me. He's not anti-mod, he's just against using mods in his videos specifically, especially the tutorials, because he wanted to make them in such a way that anyone could follow them. You know, even people playing on console and on official and whatnot. So he wanted to make it so everybody could use them. And then he's, you know, after having that as his you know, as, as the way he operated for so many years, the few times he has tried to use mods, like in one of the couple of the seasons, oop, couple of the seasons of Monarchy, he built a base using a little bit of S plus stuff. And he, apparently he got a lot of flack from people in the comments, <sighs> which, you know, people, people are funny, but now that anybody can use mods, I think he might be a little bit more open to it. I mean, Aaron Longstaff was the same before, you know, he wouldn't touch mods. He had never built with mods at all because he wanted to build things that anyone could build. But honestly, I think that without using mods, ASA building would get a little boring fairly quickly for a more advanced builder. Because there's just not as much stuff you can do with it. I mean, I've seen a, an explosion of uh, build tours and speed, you know, sped up vi building videos and tutorials and stuff from smaller channels that I've, I've never heard of before, which is awesome. And that's great that so many people are enjoying building an arc. But after a while, a lot of the builds start to kind of look the same because of the fact that you can't use the glitchy stuff we were used to before. And so it just feels kind of limiting, I guess. Come on now. Aren't you gonna eat this lovely mutton? Please, your how much does your food have to drop? Hurry up already! There we go. Yeah, Cap built that mod the giant Ras Clark statue. And actually he um, he made a map mod in ASA. It's it, it, it it's a very specific map ma map mod for very specific usage. It's called Green World and that's literally all it is. The entire map is a green screen like the floor is the ground is a green screen the sky is a green screen everything is just green so it's really good for taking screenshots of things if you need them for a thumbnail and that's about that's you know that's all it's good for but that's what he made it for 
Okay, where did that other one? was another one over here somewhere. Oh, I saw it up there. There's only two left in this path. Provided they didn't get themselves killed by stegos or something. Let's see if I can find them before they find me. There's one. That's the 48. So where's the 120? Where's the 120? That's the one I really want. Oh, they're both there. Okay. This may be very stupid. I may be about to die. Oh, that missed. Okay, well, um, hmm. I don't know where your friend is, and I'm almost dead and bleeding out here. Great. You know what? I'm gonna go climb up on my little climby thing. Thank you. Hopefully before you get loose. Come on, can you let me move? If I just stub my toe, I'm gonna die here. Can I? Seriously, game. Oh, I'm about to die. Let's hope it can't jump this high. watched Meeb series on here. There's so many awesome videos and video series that I really would like to watch. I just haven't had time yet. And I came into, you know, I came across ARC and the ARC community quite a bit later into the game. And so I, I hadn't watched very many Meeb's videos. Uh, until like a year ago or so. Come on! Dang it. I'm gonna chase it down. And hope that its buddy doesn't come after me. It's eating stuff to try to heal up. Oh, here it is. Let's see. Let's see if we can get it before it gets me. That's, I'm not going to be able to knock it out with this one. I'm going to need... Let's see if we can lead it to the trap. I'm not going to be able to lead it to the trap. It's too far and it's going to lose interest or something. Uh, let me get back up here. <gasps> Ooh, that scared me. Ooh, that scared me. 
jump scare. Where did you go? Come back here. Here. Then let me pick that up. Okay. If we can get this gal, she would be a game changer. Ravagers are like the RGs of aberration, and oh my gosh, that would be amazing. back here you know you're gonna feel so short being down here and can't see over the bushes. Where is it? What is that up there? Parasaur and a turtle. Mm, no good, I'm sure. Long live the Wyvern King. Yeah, I heard about that. I Sadly, I hadn't really seen any of his content before I heard the news of his passing, and then I watched some of it. Ugh. I see red outline. Hey! You're poor poor fleeing, aren't you? Where did you go? Where did you go? You double back? Yes, Nikki. Oh, I'm looking forward to making a water jar. Where is that dang thing? is almost out. Where did it go? Now I'm out of water. Great time. Probably still running. What is that? That is a parasite. Hey, you guys seen a Ravager go through here? stuck over there? The parasaur finally got out? Wow. Finally got loose after all this time. Alright, have a great have a have a good night, noise. Thanks for hanging out.
just don't have enough. That's the end. Dang it. Hmm. And drops are so few and far between on this map. to put a level into water. But I won't. It's too stamina since I run everywhere. And now, actually, I should be able to make the water jump. And let's go do that, actually, right away, before we leave. We have everything we need, I think. Except maybe the cement and base, but we can make that. It should be good. Water jar, here we come. I'm so excited. Fourteen seconds. first. Just immediately start running because I know it's after me. Oh, 
Yeah, that's right. I shot you in the butt. What are you going to do about it, huh? That is really um, disturbing how far out of there it looks like it is. <laughs> oh, jeez. I'm really glad I repaired this. I just realized I think the foundations might be thatched. That's not good. Thankfully, this thing doesn't have a ton of torpor. There it goes. It's out. All right. What are we gonna feed it? There was another sheep up top, but I need to start cracking it, and I might let it starve out for a little while while I wait for the other one. Their torpor doesn't drop super fast, does it? I don't remember it dropping super fast. You seen a ravager go through here? I wonder if it ran until it hit the lake. Sure seems like it. Oh, nope, there it is. And its torpor is still pretty high, so that doesn't drop fast. Oh, that's that's the entrance to the surface. Nice. Yeah, look at that. It's still running. And there we go. Seconds, are you gonna go out? Yes, okay. Okay, now I saw another sheep. Oh wow, the music's a little loud. Sorry about that. Let's turn that down. Yeah, A and C pathing. I I'm actually kind of glad to be back to A and C pathing. Because I kind of prefer the creatures moving in more predictable ways. Okay. Now let's see if we can find that other sheep. It was up this way. And I saw it before. Oh, and there's a Carno. That's not good. That is not good at all, and that means the Carno probably also ate the sheep. Dang it. Is that a loot drop over there? I haven't gotten any loot drops yet. Level 40, Aberrant Carno. Come on, where's a sheep when you need one? Maybe I can sneak around. No, I can't get up there until I have my grapples. Can I get up here? No. Well, you're all healed up. Could you deal with a cardo?
does have a bleed, which is not great. It's only got 840 health, though. Well, we need Prime anyway. I guess you'll do. If we can keep knocking it back so it can't get too many shots in, then we should be good. Yeah! Mikey the Trikey to the rescue! Just one piece of raw prime? Seriously? What is that? Dang it. Did that Arno eat the sheep that was up here? I'm glad that they added that taming tracker to ASE. That was such an awesome quality of life improvement. Here, you know what? Actually, here, let's put let's put my meat in your inventory. And let's maybe go see if we can uh kill a trite uh stego, but uh, that one's 12, that one's eight. Ah, they shouldn't be too bad, right? And they are mate boosted. So far, the other one hasn't gotten involved. <laughs> That's very nice and efficient. Gotta love this knockback. this will be enough prime for the two of them. There we go. Yes, they get, they, they're giving a lot more prime than the Arno did. You can be my fridge there, Mike the Trike. And here, you can have some berries too. Alright. Let's go get some food in our Ravagers. It would be so amazing having Ravagers.
right by the entrance to the surface. Glad it didn't run in there. Oh, it's saying five raw prime. Okay. I have to check on you too. Make sure that. Oh, whoa. You're eating fast. Well, I thought that was going to take a while. Maybe not, or unless you're going to take all day for that last little bite. Come on now, 99.6, and it's going to stop and torture me. 99.6. Well, let's go be the other one then, if we're going to be that way. No, we want to be here when you get up. Fine. Just waiting, waiting. Sound boards. There we go. The voice mod is doing something right here. Ah, it's up. Sweet. Nice. 179. We need to um, close the tame tracker for you. No, not that. No, close. Go away. What are you doing? Are you freezing up on me? Thank you. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, lag. Um, excuse me. Can you stop that, please? My mouse button got stuck or something. Stop it! What the actual heck? I cannot make this stop. What do I do to- Ah, oh, there, finally. That was weird! That was really weird. Now, can we get you off the taming list? And then can we look at your stats? Thank you. 33 weight. That's not too bad, I guess. All right, you can follow me. Oh, let's put you on only target punches for sure. Is that it? So only a 14. Perfect. Here, Ravager, go get yourself some XP. Wow, that was fast. Um, I didn't mean to name you that. Uh, let's see, you, you're the level 44. I kind of would rather wouldn't name a higher level one after a channel member. So I guess you will be TT for now. Here the structure. And what was possessing me? Why did I make the foundations of this out of thatch? That was dumb. Because if they break, it won't matter. If everything else doesn't break. Okay. Nice. 
Okay. Well, we got us a level 179 Ravager. You know what? Since it's been a little while... Uh... You know what? I think we should name it Raven. Because it's got these pretty black patches on it. And I think it'd be a great name. And because Raven's the one who commented the most recently. There we go. Alright, well, we got this gal tamed. And two others as well. The start of our own little Ravager pack. And I think they are going to be game changers for sure. Next time we will have to grind until we're able to unlock that Ravager saddle and then go on a nice adventure to try to find some more metal and resources. So yeah. Hey, Mikey! Hello, hello! Uh, Mikey, check this out. Uh, look what I named my trike! I got a high-level rainbow trike, and I named it after you, or after your channel, anyway. We have Mikey the Trikey. So Mikey the Trikey has been very, very helpful. It's awesome finally getting a decent level creature. And also the first one I was able to make a saddle for. Alright, let's bring you guys back home then. Our very, very first Ravager. When does the Ravager saddle unlock, anyway? 47? Oh, jeez. Yeah, I'm only at 30. 17 levels. Well, if I focus on building for a while... Mikey! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the two dollars and the jump scare. <laughs> oh, geez. Okay. Well, on that note, um, you got a level. Look at that. Let's give some more stamina. Trikes are not exactly known for their stam. And we've got Raven the Ravager here as well. And a couple of lower level Ravagers as well. So yeah, we made a lot of progress this time, but it is getting kind of late. So I think we're going to call it here, folks. It is after 8 p.m. my time, and I've been streaming since I think 3 o'clock in the afternoon or somewhere close to that. So yeah, I should probably go get some dinner. So uh, thanks for hanging out. I hope you have a fabulous, fabulous rest of your weekend and i'll be back on monday with another stream looking forward to it and i'll see you there bye bye for now and thank you so much mikey and thank you to everybody for hanging out